grew up in a wonderful home with two dedicated and loving parents, and one of uh, five brothers and sisters. A home where we as, our, as children were the focus of, of, of my parents' lives, where we regularly attended church, uh, two Christian parents who did not drink, they did not smoke, there was no gambling, there was no physical abuse or fighting in the home. That basically, I was a normal person. I wasn't uh, some guy hanging out uh, in bars or a bum. Uh, I wasn't a pervert in the sense that, you know, people look at somebody and say, I know there's something wrong with them and just tell. I mean, I, I, I was essentially a normal person. I had good friends. I, I, uh, I lived a normal life, except for this one small but very potent and very destructive segment of it that I kept very secret and very close to myself and didn't let anybody know about it. And part of the shock and horror for my dear friends and family when years ago when I was first arrested was that they just, there was no clue. They looked at me and they looked at the, you know, the, um, the all-American boy. And it happens, it, it happened in stages, gradually. It doesn't necessarily, not to me at least, happen overnight. My experience with, I say pornography generally, but with pornography that deals on a violent level with the sexuality, um, is that once you become addicted to it, and I look at this as a kind of addiction, like an addiction, you keep craving something which is harder, harder, something which, which gives you a greater uh, sense of, uh, of uh, excitement. As long as you approach porn with an understanding of what it is you're looking at and enjoy it in moderation and avoid anything illegal, you'll be fine. Have fun! Until you reach the point where the pornography only goes so far, you reach the that jumping off point where you begin to wonder if, if maybe actually doing it will give you that which is beyond just reading about it or looking at it. Porn is like many movies. It's completely made up. A fantasy that could never exist in real life. I'm no social scientist and I haven't done a survey. I mean, I, I don't pretend that I know what John Q. Citizen thinks about this. <clears throat> but I've lived in prison for a long time now. And I've met a lot of men who were motivated to commit violence just like me. And without exception, every one of them was deeply involved in pornography without question, without exception, deeply influenced and consumed by an addiction to pornography. Hey you, my name is Thomas Tomscott Ridgel and pornography is as fun to watch as it is hard to forget. So much flesh. There's no question about it, the FBI's own study on serial homicide shows that the most common interest among serial killers is pornography. The whole purpose of pornography is to arouse us, to get us sexually excited, and that's great because using your actual imagination is hard work. Those of us who are, who have been so much influenced by violence in the media, in particular pornographic violence, are not some kinds of inherent monsters. We are your sons and we are your husbands. And we grew up in regular families. And pornography can reach out and snatch a kid out of any house today. Sometimes when you're on the internet, you might accidentally or intentionally end up on a website that features pornography, sometimes called porn. Being curious about sex and looking at pictures or films of naked bodies or people engaging in sexual behaviors is perfectly normal. They snatched me out of my home. They snatched me out of my home 20, 30 years ago. And, and as diligent as my parents were, uh, and they were diligent in protecting their children, and as good a Christian home as we had, and we had a wonderful Christian home. Uh, there is no protection against the kinds that the kinds of influences that are loose in the society that, that, that tolerates. So I'm sure you realise the little clips interspersed with that are from the Scottish government's educational resources. That's not really the right word. They're not educational resources. The resources they use in schools to corrupt young people and to promote pornography. Just a little bit of homework for you. If you're a supporter of, say, the SNP or a member of the SNP, even. How about standing in front of a mirror and saying, I support the party that promotes pornography in schools. 
if, say, you support the Conservative Party, maybe you're a member of the Conservative Party, how about standing in front of a mirror and saying, I support the party that doesn't care that the government's promoting pornography in schools? Or alternatively, if you support the Scottish Family Party, if you're a member of the Scottish Family Party, you can stand in front of a mirror and say, I support the party that's opposing the promotion of pornography in schools. Thanks.